what is going on everybody and welcome back to some more of the casting of frank stone here so uh we're continuing where we left off in the last episode uh we just escaped the big scary creek well it's basically like the spirit or whatever of frank stone we can only see him properly through the camera and we actually have to shut him down the thing is right so we ran away with him playing as um uh as um as linda but let's just say he gets to Linda and kills her, but how could he kill her when she's alive current day? So is this a little bit different to Supermassive Games if the characters with plot armor that are meant to survive include, so pretty much the only ones that are meant to survive at the moment that we know of is Linda, the police officer, because uh, we saw him, uh, and also the uh, the other one, um, the, the mother to Maddie. Um, like, they all have plot armor because they're but they're not still alive. Well, not all of them because the mother did die but she did died later on anyway uh, there's about an hour and 40 minutes left so yeah there'll be about a 12 part series altogether yeah, let's continue on so Open this. Nice. We haven't found ten of those. Oh, that is how to do it correctly. Good idea. Castle. It's been nostalgic. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Well, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Oh, give me a break. Sam, you really think it's actually cursed? That's not real. How can you even say that after what happened? After what happened? You really don't remember. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... no. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. 
Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? Hesitant. We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption. And its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? He was never real. Why is this here? Wait a minute, wasn't that the store? Okay. Oh. Huh. I think we've entered a nightmare. Stan! You want a bathroom break or something? Oh, well, this looks nice. Very, very omin o ominous. A lot of that energy. What the heck is this place? Wait, is that? Whoa. Is that? Oh. Is someone actually in there? Who's in there? I, th I think it's Chris. It looks like some <laughs> sort of pattern. I'm 
really need to shut this thing down. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. I think. I don't even know what I did. Hold on. I always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. It's Chris. She's been. She's obviously been trapped in there for well, thirty years or what, twenty years or whatever it's been. Yeah, that stopped one of the rings. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Oh god, she said the word. <laughs> yep, great. I'm gonna save you, Chris. Good old fashioned on off switch. Okay, one more to go. She hasn't aged either. Yo. Well, at least we know what happened to Chris then. So yeah, bloody Jaime just died then for no re literally no reason. Back in 
Nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I, I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something's... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Shut up. Now we're back into... Current day again. Pretty sure they came down this way. This is gonna be I don't want to be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. And she wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would've stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late? Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. This is gonna be an what interesting interaction. What you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back? Kids making Super 8 movies? In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you, I don't count years. <gasps> what is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I... Find... Uh, find him all in. Gotta find him before his... his skies are... They're folding in again and it's... Uh... You don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Just... I 
think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Guess I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. All right. Sam? 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 Hello? Hey, where the hell did you go? Sam, come on! Sheriff Green? This place is, uh... I don't know why I keep making sure that... Just making sure that that door is, is very much locked. Uh, well, before we continue, I'll uh, end this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye. <laughs>